Spend the day with me. Um, I fell asleep last night and did not plug in my phone. So it did not charge. So it was dead. And I woke up, my body like woke up at 520 and was like, you should be up. And I looked at the clock and was like, you are correct. I should be up. Um, we have a field trip today. We are going back in time to um, like a schoolhouse version time. And I will be wearing a prairie dress, which you shall soon see. Um, but this is probably going to be a short spend the day with me because you can't really come on the field trip with me <laughs> as much as I want to show you. But we can show up to the fit and everything else. And I can let you know how it went. So let's get moving because we are going to hustle um, and we need to get things going. Here's the thing. Someone's going to be like, if I was running late, I wouldn't be filming. Well, Sarah, um, it takes five seconds for me to do what I'm doing and leave my app running with me doing stuff in it. So it's really not taking, wow, this has way more bacon than usual. It's really not taking away from what I'm doing, chatting with you. You know how when you order on Amazon, it's like what I ordered, what I got? That's what happened with my prairie dress. So, we're gonna see. This song just came on. It's not unusual to live by I can't help think of Vegas vacation when I hear this. You guys know Chevy Chase's Vegas vacation, Christmas vacation, like, Waniac, that whole part in that movie is one of my favorites. Sometimes I love old school dance slow music. Have you guys heard the new song by Derulo and Moulet? It's so good and it's my favorite drink. Don't forget your sunscreen. So we're literally traveling back to 1896 today in some schoolhouse with bonnets. So this makeup is called, they didn't used to have makeup in this time. At least I don't think they did. I do not know if you are prepared for this dress. This is not what it looked like when I ordered it, okay? What did it look like? Um, it just looked different. Let's just put it that way. Um, I was told that they didn't have plastic in 1896. So I told one of the other moms, I'll be pouring my iced coffee into a glass mason jar, so we'll fix that problem. So the option was either pull your hair back or wear a bonnet. You guys. I'm pulling my hair, I'm not wearing this. Like we love a girl who cares about keeping the sun out of her face, give me a visor, give me a baseball cap. Just call me Marmy. <laughs> It's fine if you're laughing. It's fine, I'm not even upset. I get to go into Whole Foods like this. Like, I don't even know how to feel. Is this a moo moo? Am I Wendy from Peter Pan? Like, take flight? <laughs> so we're just, it's not about us today, okay? It's not about us. I'm at the jump rope station. Things you don't realize as a parent, you're gonna be dressing up for field trips. Is this, is this cosplay? <laughs> I lied, with this outfit I need to have some type of eyeliner because I just feel like I look, I don't know, like a small child. I feel childlike in this, so we're doing some liner. We need to do something with this dress. I don't know what it is, but we need to do something. I think, I wonder if I have like a baking apron downstairs because she needs something, she needs something. Okay, I feel a little bit like a genius. Look, I went and got one of my baking aprons. Yeah! All right, we're gonna go. I walk downstairs and Blake's like, he looks so cute. I was like, dude, he's like, no, seriously, you look so like sweet. <sighs> okay, back to leggings and jeans tomorrow. Um, okay, we're gonna go, Blake just got back. He went and put, he put gas in my carriage. He attached the horses. Um, I need to put my wedding ring on, okay? Can't have anyone not thinking that Mistress Bo they're supposed to call me Mistress Bolden today. Anyways, um, and he got toilet paper and stuff. And so he went down yonder to the general store to get us some goods. <laughs> we can tell just how I'm going to be today. 
we're supposed to have one of London's little friends over this weekend, um, and I really need to clean. Okay, I gotta get, I gotta clean. We have lip liner back then. I don't know. Uh, I went and I found a beetroot and I rubbed it all over my lips. Also, why is this outfit growing on me? I think it's because I feel like I could actually make a sourdough loaf, but like we know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I could bake you something delicious. Yeah, okay. I'm an old fashioned housewife. <laughs> Yeah. I could go get you some eggs at the local market. Oh! I bet I could make a, I could milk a mean cow. Okay, I'm literally gonna get a honey vanilla latte, a bottle of water, and lemonade, and we have to move it because I have like four minutes. Small honey vanilla latte with extra ice. Thank you. Oh, can I have oat milk, please? Thank you so much for asking. I have 20 mason jars in my car that I have to fill with lemonade because you couldn't use like paper cups or plastic cups back then, so I have to do that. So one of the moms made homemade biscuits and she has bees at her place, so she has like fresh honey. I was like, why are you so cool? She also happens to be one of my like absolute favorite people, so it makes it that much better. The level of excitement for this coffee right now cannot be matched. Okay, I just had to show you, I had to use the restroom. Why are park bathrooms so terrifying? Like, look at this. You walk in and it's like dark and terrifying. Like, it's the park. Like, let's put some trees or some flowers. Also, hold on. Okay, so where we are is so stinking cute. I actually grew up in Elk Grove for part of my childhood. So coming out here is like adorable. But um, I'm gonna put up stuff later on Instagram stories when we're gone or whatever, because this schoolhouse is so freaking cute. In order to be authentic, there's no plastic. So I got little mason jars and everyone gets like a souvenir today. <laughs> Truth be told, for our glasses at home, I do not buy glasses. I just buy a thing of the mason jars at Target, and this is what we use at home for like water, juice, all the above. Your prairie girl is coming to you live. Okay, y'all, we are back from 1869. It was quite the traveling traverse. Um, Tiny Queen won the spelling bee, they did. Why is she so much smarter than I was? Am, honestly. I really feel like am is the right choice of words here. Girlfriend just gets it, gots it, and it's good. You know what I mean? Okay, so we might not know this around here. Monday nights we do in and out and Friday do we do something called French Fry Friday where we get French fries every Friday. Um, and now I'm just waiting for the tiny queens to get out of school um, and we're gonna head into the weekend. I have a coaches meeting this weekend. Ah! so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just happy you're here. You made it through another week. You made it through another day. And I said this and I'll say it again. I love spending the day with you because I never want you to think that you're alone. You're not. You can always come hang out with me, see what we're up to over here in our little neighborhood. So if no one has told you lately, come in real close because you made it to the weekend. I love you. I like you just the way you are. Do not change for anyone because you are perfect just as you are. And you are never alone when we're spending the day together. See you tomorrow.